Hey guys, it's Wild. We got something a little bit interesting today. So the other day, Mike Deck is here decided to declare that Kiram W should be allowed in Little Cup because Anorith completely, apparently wrecks it, as according to that replay that he posted, as you can see in that chat that I'm not going to link because I'm going to be too lazy to. So, we decided in our little Skype chat, hey, let's, let's allow it. Fucking Kiram W for Little Cup. Let's do it. So I was like, hey Mike, let's do the first ever Kiram W Little Cup match. And show everyone how underwhelming Kiram W really is, because who else is going to fucking do it, right? I mean, no one else is going to think about testing Kiram W in Little Cup. So, you know, we got to be the innovators. We got to do this first. So, Mike is like, all right, let's fucking do this. Let's throw some shit together and we'll uh, get fucking at it, right? So, the match will be starting about now well team preview but yeah we're doing it on showdown just because it's easy but uh i'm on the other side i don't know why the po replayer decided to do it like that but he quicks on my team just a pretty standard team and works with kiram because you know it's just a bunch of standard stuff but he decides he's the same team leads off with hippopotas thought that kiram would be underwhelming enough to not be able to take out hippopotas with an ice beam but not the case and he goes into drill bear after the hippopotas dies figure he's just gonna earthquake so go to bronzor to try and get my rocks up he goes into his not too thinking he had the magic bounce but he didn't so I was like, I get free rocks, and now I get to hit him with whatever I want. But he turns out into his Magnemite, trapping me, because I do not have Earthquake to kill him with. But since I don't, I was just like, I'm going to Psychic do some damage off, but it's going to, you know, do not that much. But he does Magnet Rise, so I couldn't Earthquake even if I wanted to. But he's just going to try and finish me off eventually with some Hidden Powers. But I'm getting some pretty nice damage on him, so... That is always particularly nice, but now I'm going to go into the extremely underwhelming Kiram W, and I'm pretty sure any Pokemon could have killed that fire attack right there, so Kiram W, we're not really sure how it's going to be yet, but he's going to go into the Drill Burr, he kills me off with the Rock Slide, crit probably didn't matter, because like we said, Kiram W is just, I mean, I only killed one Pokemon with it, and it's just, I don't know man, it's just, it's sketchy, but I go into Abra because I do have the Focus Sash, so I knew it could take one hit and then take him out with whatever I want, he goes into Mischievous as fodder, I guess. But now he's going to go to his own Kiram W, and I'm like, okay, uh, I'm just going to protect, see what you want to do, and maybe scout if he's choice or not, which he goes to Earth Power, and he predicts my switch out, so he's going to go out to his Drill Burn, and I'm like, I was just going to go for the Hidden Power, so I guess he predicted me to go out to something that could take an Earth Power, but I didn't want to, but the point is, he goes for Earthquake on my Abra, almost takes me out, but not really, because I have Focus Sash, and now I can just kind of destroy the rest of his team, because Natu is not going to take a Shadow Ball at all, and Kiram W, like I said before, Pretty underwhelming, so it's not really going to be able to take NHP fighting, and I just take that fucker down. So that is the match, but Mike wasn't really satisfied with not having that magic bounce on his Natu. He thought it would make so much more of a difference if he had it, so he's like, I want a rematch. And I'm like, okay. So, lead off with Kiram W again. He leads off with Hibitas again. He thought he could live again, but maybe Kiram W is really better than we thought. But now he's going to go to his own Kiram W, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to drink a Meteor just to take him out. And I do, fortunately, win speed tie, so that is all fine and dandy. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty doing well with Kiram W. That didn't even fucking make sense, because I didn't even know what I was even trying to say. But I just ice beam to get some damage off the Mischievous. Still does a lot, so, you know, I think we really did underestimate Kiram White a bit, but we'll see. But he says a pain split here for no particular reason. I guess he thought I might switch out, not wanting to die and maybe preserve the Kiram. But it's like, hey, if I get a chance to kill the Mischievous, I get a chance to kill the Mischievous, which I do, which is like, wow, I did not expect to actually kill it. So, Kiram W might actually have something going for it, but he's just going to go into Drillbird to take me out. But, hey, I killed half his team with Kiram, so maybe it might mean something. But now I'm going to go to Abra, because again, I can just revenge kill him and just destroy his face. But he's going to go to Natu, his Death Fodder, so him having Magic Bounce really didn't mean anything. But, uh... I just hidden power the Magnemite because I want to hit it with the hidden power. But here he was like, hey, go into your lantern. I was like, I don't have a lantern. I'm going to go to Chin Chow to, fake, to, 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 to surprise you because you wanted me to go out to that. But then uh, uh, he just earthquaked and killed me. So I was like, damn it. But now I can just go into Murkrow, finish him off the Sucker Punch, and then hit this Magnemite with a Heat Wave. But it lives. And it's like, wow, it fucking lived. Seriously? Oh, this game. But that does give me a chance to go to me and and get the free U-turn off and finish the game off classically. So that is the end of that. I destroyed Mike with stuff and now he finally realizes, you know, maybe Kiram W is a little bit too powerful for Little Cup, but I think Mike just needs to train his Pokemon more. But uh, I guess we'll never know unless you guys want to do some of your own uh, Kiram White testing. Go right ahead. But for now, we'll just leave it at consensus that Mike just needs to train his Pokemon. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I don't have anything else to really say. Mike, train your Pokemon better. And uh, maybe 
you'll suck less at Little Cup with Kiram W. But anyways, that'll be it for today. So hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Rick, comment, sub, and later, guys.